you know, every country's had things that, 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 that they're not proud of. Of course. Um, but but it, the question isn't that, and isn't lingering all the time on that. The question is, what have we done well? You know, you saw this in Don Lemon's interview with Elon Musk last week, mm -hmm. where Elon Musk just said, you know, if we keep talking about the slave trade in America, we're never going to get past it. Douglas Murray just recently appeared on Sky News and absolutely ripped Don Lemon to pieces. Douglas Murray highlights and exposes the mindset carried by leftists like Don Lemon. This mindset presents a view of history through the oppressor-oppressed narrative and keeps us from moving forward as a society. Douglas Murray did not hold back. Watch. And Don Lemon seems sort of thrown by that, as he is by any original thought. <laughs> um, but but, but he, he seemed genuinely thrown by that. It's absolutely true. The question isn't whether or not you've 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 acknowledged any mistakes in your past. The, po the point is, are we able to get past them? Mm. And are we able to say anything good about ourselves? And if in Australia, the whole narrative is just, as you say, genocide yesterday, genocide today, genocide tomorrow, of course people aren't going to be brought up to be proud of their country. And of course they aren't going to see the good things. I would just beg the people who fall into that narrative, which includes a lot of young people who go along with the herd. Mm. A lot of young people don't, but a lot of young people do go along with that herd. I would beg them just to go somewhere else in the world, just for a week, yeah. and see yeah. the comparative rights that you have in any other country in this region and the rights you have here, mm -hmm. the traditions in any other region, the traditions you have here, what's gone well in other parts of the region and what's gone well here. And, you know, to, re uh, to, to revive uh, uh, um, something I've said to you before in other contexts, there's a reason that the boats come to Australia and they do not leave from Australia to other places. There is a reason. And if, and if the people who do this, there's nothing good about Australia, we're all genocidists and murderers and so on, which is absolutely preposterous. And nobody's guilty of things they didn't do. Mm. Um, but if those people could just reflect for a moment, you know, why is it? that if this country is as bad as these people and the, the, the corporations and all these pop stars and so on, if it's as bad as they say, why are people not fleeing Melbourne today? Why is this city booming? Why are people not fleeing he here for the sanctuary of communist China? Mm. There must be something we've done well. There must be something you've done well in Australia. I think there's a lot you've done well. Douglas Murray's concerns about the Western world losing its sense of identity and the prevailing narrative of oppression and privilege highlight a profound shift in how history and culture are taught and understood. This perspective, increasingly dominant in educational institutions and public discourse, emphasizes the West's historical mistakes colonialism, slavery, and imperialism often at the expense of its contributions to the advancement of human rights, democracy, and scientific progress. Murray argues that this singular focus not only distorts our understanding of history, but also undermines the confidence of younger generations in their cultural heritage and the values of their societies. The impact of this shift is evident in various aspects of Western society. For instance, a study by the American Historical Association revealed a significant decline in the number of college students majoring in history, with one reason being the perception that history is less about understanding the complexities of human societies and more about cataloging their failings. Similarly, a survey conducted in the United Kingdom showed that a majority of young people felt disconnected from their national history, viewing it through a lens of shame rather than pride. Figures like Jordan Peterson, a Canadian clinical psychologist and professor, have echoed similar sentiments and offered their critiques and insights on these issues. Jordan Peterson, in particular, has extensively discussed the consequences of identity politics and the danger of viewing history and individuals through a singular lens of oppression. Peterson argues that the emphasis on collective guilt and identity over individual agency not only distorts our understanding of history, but also undermines the foundation of Western individualism, which celebrates personal responsibility and achievement. He has critiqued the notion that Western society is fundamentally patriarchal and oppressive suggesting that this narrative neglects the complexities of history and the multifaceted nature of human societies. Peterson stresses the importance of recognizing the individual's capacity to transcend their circumstances through personal responsibility rather than viewing people primarily as members of oppressed or oppressor groups. Both Murray and Peterson emphasize the value of engaging with Western cultural heritage and intellectual traditions not as monolithic or uniformly oppressive, but as rich sources of knowledge art, and philosophy that have contributed significantly to human progress. 
They argue for a more balanced approach to education and public discourse, one that encourages critical thinking, appreciation for cultural achievements, and an understanding of the responsibilities that come with freedom.